UConn National Championship coach Dan Hurley. How does that sound? How impressed are you with your team tonight and what you did in this tournament, Dan? I mean, it, you know, you, you're speechless, and we knew we had a chance in this tournament. We knew we were one of the better teams, but to win every game in the fashion that we did, you know, showed uh, you know, showed our class, and uh, obviously, uh, I have no, not many words. What was it about your group? You held off. They made a push. They got it to six in the second half. What adjustments? How did you guys react and respond to get that back into win in double digits for the sixth straight game in this tournament? Yeah, we just had guys step up. You know, we uh, you know, we got stops. Obviously, Jordan hit a huge three. Um, you know, our best players really came through for us. Adama was out awesome. Andre was all over the court. Jordan stepped up. But, you know, the collective of this group was always the strength. Adama Sanogo, the best player in this tournament. What makes him so dominant, and how much did he grow, not just in the past month, but even from the guy he was a year ago to right now in this moment, Dan? I just think that, um, you know, he's got rare work ethic. He's got rare competitive will, uh, and he's a special player. I mean, he's, I don't know what the NBA's doing with him. He's uh, Montrell, Montrez Harrell with, uh, with a three-point shot in college and a game off the dribble, so, so there's my plug for him to be a, a draft pick this year. But, you know, he, uh, you know, he just, he led the program by example, and he was the best player in the tournament. UConn's 5-0 and all-time in national championship games. Fifth national championship since 1999. I know this means a ton to you for this program. Blue blood status, undeniable, right? Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I, it should have been pre this. I mean, with the four and, yeah, I mean, UConn is as, the blood is as blue as, it could be because we bleed blue because it's it's UConn. Last one for you. What does this mean to you to get this win? You saw your brother do this as a player. You've done this. You have a certain sense of validation, exuberation. What does this mean for you personally, Dan? I don't. It, it'll hit me. Maybe what it means. Uh, I'm proud of my journey. Obviously, the high school, the all different levels. But really, like you wanted it for this team. You know, like this is a great team. It's a great locker room. It's the most fun group of guys you'd ever be around. And with how well we played in the tournament, I definitely felt enormous pressure today to win this game and to be able to celebrate with this group that we love. Go celebrate. Congratulations, Dan. Let's go, Matt. Let's go. Get my mama be in it. Get your mom in this my right now, Jordan it. Hawkins, national champion. I'm going to mom first. Yes. How proud are you of your son in this moment? What is this like for you? This is so overwhelming. I'm so proud. So proud, so proud. What what makes you so proud of your son in this moment? Did you envision? Did you think about this moment earlier today, earlier this week, earlier this month when he was a young boy? I mean, we talked about this forever, and now that it's here, it's unexplainable. It's just unexplainable. My baby did it. He did it. Jordan, what made this team so great? What changed for this group? Was it something in January? What was it about this group that made you guys so awesome this season? It happened. It happened in August. When uh, we all got together, we all in the room, we had a meeting, and we had our goals set out and what we want to do for the season. When all the transfers came in, we, we told them, man, we got big aspirations for this team. And I credit to them, they all bought in. No selfishness, no nothing. Man, we did it. It's, it's amazing how we did it. All glory to God. I, all glory to my family. All glory to Curtis Hurley. And all glory to the coaching staff, man. It's unbelievable. How great does it feel to have your mom here next to you? She's emotional. To have done this with her, to experience this moment with her. What's that man, feel like, Jordan? We've been through a lot, man. My, been through a lot. For my mom to come out and see me win the national championship in Houston, it's absolutely amazing. Man, basketball can take you. I see always, my parents always told me basketball can take you far places, man. And look where it took me. Man, it, it's absolutely amazing. It's unbelievable. This team specifically in this program, to get in, not just to win a national championship, but to win one here, to do it your own way, to get the fifth one at UConn. What's that like? What's that feel like, Jordan? Man, immortality, man. That's what it feels like. We did it. Like, we did it. I, I, it it'll hit me tomorrow, but how do I feel right now? It's unbelievable. Go enjoy. Thank Congratulations, you. both. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Dama Sanogo, yes. what does this moment feel like? Man, it feels uh, feel crazy, you know what I mean? Like I said, a lot of things we want to be up right now, you know, 
like touch that trophy, I said be able to do that, like it feels great. It feels great. Yeah. How did you guys adjust in that second half? San Diego State made a really good push. Yeah. You had a huge, couple of huge defensive plays. Yeah. Was it more on instinct? Was there something set in the huddle? What happened there? So, like, when we started making the run, you know, they're a good team, you know, and it's a final game, too. So, they're going to make some run. We're going to, like, after we stop, they make the run, like, we take a time, coach take a time out, and we, like, turn the ball over a couple of times. We were like, yo, let's stop turning the ball over, take care of the ball more. And after that, we, after that time, we'll be able to come back and make uh, stop the run. Yeah. Adama, you've been the best player in this NCAA tournament. Right. I know you know that. Right. What did you find within yourself, yeah. and how do you describe what happened over the past six games with you around and around your teammates here? Yeah, uh, I just took everything personal. You know what I mean? You know, like I, uh, last couple, last two years was not good for our team in, uh, in March Madness because we lost our uh, first two, uh, first game in uh, March Madness. So this year was another chance for us to pay that pay that back. So I, I used this year to like basically like pay, pay you know what I mean? Because I, I took everything personal and. Uh, and I, and I was like, all right, this is, and I have another chance this year to like win. And I, I was like, I take everything personal. Yeah. Yeah. What does this moment feel like? Did you envision, like, did you wake up today yeah. knowing this was going to happen? Did you try and picture how this moment was going to be, or did you want to kind of let it happen naturally? I think uh, I was definitely confident. Okay, I'm like, like uh, I was dreaming about it. I'm like, shit, I had a game today. I feel like I'm about to be a champion. I was dreaming about, like, this moment. You know, that gave me my confidence a little bit. I'm like, all right. Last, we, lost, we win last five games. We don't have to change anything. Just play like that tonight, and we're gonna get a, and we're gonna get a job done. And that's what we did. And we got a job done. Yeah, happy about it. Yeah. One of the best performances in NCAA tournament history, Adama Sanoga. Congratulations thank and thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Good seeing you. you. Donovan Klingen. First of all, we're going right to the the glasses. Yeah. It's an, it's an amazing look. Explain it. Um, you know, Andre's brother is sitting right behind the bench. I saw you had like three, uh, three extra pairs of glasses waiting for us. So I was like, yo, let me get a pair and I get Dre and Hawk a pair. And I just thought they were pretty cool. I mean, yeah, I just can't believe this right now. Right? It's like I'm lost in a dream. You, you are from Bristol, Connecticut. Local kid. Play high, public high school all the way. Get recruited by UConn. You stay home. What's it like for you on this journey? Think about where you were a year ago to being here on this night. Is it remotely believable for you, Donovan? No, I mean, a year ago, right now, I was celebrating from a state championship, and now I'm about to go celebrate from a national championship, and it is two completely different feelings. I mean, we worked so hard for this for the past nine months. You know, it feels great to have this, you know, have this feeling of winning. You know, we ended our season on a win, and that's all you could ask for. Um, you know, I'm proud of the guys. I'm proud of the coaches. You know, I love this whole team, the whole program. You know, this is just such a connected staff, a connected group. You know, we deserve this. In your heart of hearts, when did you believe this team was truly good enough to win a national championship? When did that happen this season? Yeah, when we were on a 14-0 run, I feel like, you know, we had a chance. You know, I knew, you know, we, we needed to go through that, that, you know, few losses in the middle of the season, you know, just to get us, you know, mentally tougher and, you know, just face a little bit of adversity, you know. So once we went through that and came out and we went on a run and now we're champs. Without a doubt. In this specific game, the challenges San Diego State provided in the second half. How did you guys wind up pivoting and pulling away for a sixth straight double-digit win in this tournament? Yeah, I mean, we just kept the composure and the, didn't let you know, the crowd and their little run you know, get to our heads. You know, basketball is a game of runs, and, you know, we knew that teams were going to on, go on a run. You know, they came back from against uh, FAU from a 50-point deficit. So, you know, we knew, we knew they were capable of it. You know, we just kept our composure, kept our poise, and, Went out there, Hawk had a big three. Tristan made some big free throws. You know, that's all you can ask for. And, I mean, this this is crazy. Last question. Being a Connecticut a Connecticut guy, you know what this program means in that state, in that region. What's your message you want to send to UConn fans in that state, in the region, around the country, around the world about what you guys have been able to accomplish here, Donovan? I mean, we got the best fans in the country. Stores, you know. We just got number five, you know. I just couldn't be happier. The guys, we did this for Connecticut. We did this for UConn. We did it for you fans. I mean, let's. We'll be home tomorrow. Let's celebrate. Congratulations, Donovan. Go Thank celebrate. You. Thank you.